Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We've released the first beta of Android 11 focused on three key themes, people, controls, and privacy. There's a ton of updates to read about, and I recommend that you do so by checking out the post linked in the YouTube description below or by sliding up on Instagram. We've also introduced Google Play Asset Delivery, which gives you dynamic delivery of the right game assets to the right devices at the right time at no additional cost. To achieve this, we extended the Android App Bundle publishing format by adding asset packs. More details and docs to get started are on the post. The Firebase Crashlytics SDK is now publicly available. Whether your app was migrated from Fabric or created in Firebase, we encourage you to upgrade to the official version of the Firebase Crashlytics SDK. Getting started docs and the support page are linked from the post. Firestore instances are fully managed NFS file servers on Google Cloud for use with applications running on Compute Engine Virtual Machine instances or Google Kubernetes Engine clusters. And the new Filestore high scale tier adds the ability to easily deploy shared file systems that can scale out to hundreds of thousands of IOPS, tens of gigabytes per second of throughput, and hundreds of terabytes. The Google Maps platform is celebrating 15 years since Google Maps API was first launched. And this post is full of new features, including maps customization, gaming, and more tooling and resources. Click through the post for all the details. We recently released a GitHub repository with more than 30 dashboard templates to help you get started with the dashboard API for cloud monitoring. The templates cover compute, storage, data processing, networking, database, tooling, and our microservice demo application. The GitHub link is on the post. BigQuery table level access controls are now available to enable you to control your data and share it at an even finer granularity. Table ACLs also bring closer compatibility with other data warehouse systems where the base security primitives include tables, allowing migration of security policies more easily. You can get started with the post. We've also launched Cloud SQL cross-region replication, which is available for MySQL and PostgreSQL database engines. The tech preview of Dart's null safety is now available to help you avoid a class of bugs that are often hard to spot and enables a range of performance improvements. For more on the Dart team's plans for rolling out null safety, check out the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.